Hey everybody, this is Jonathan from the Hope Movement. I'm um, just coming down from uh, recording from Baltimore. This is the uh, 2300 block of North Avenue. And here I am, I'm, gonna, I'm recording my friend here. This is Mr. Kool-Aid, doing Facebook Live. <laughs> What's up? So, I was just telling everyone that we're, we're about to leave, but we uh, wanted to just show a little bit of what we did down here. So he's been helping us uh, clean up down here, holding down the fort for us, right? Huh. But and keep Kool-Aid in prayer, right? Yeah, we keep that prayer, like, be free of the addiction, cocaine, and alcoholism. Amen, that's Please. right, that's right. We're going to be praying for him, so everyone keep joining us in prayer, you know. We, he, he can be set free, just as we all can be. We were all were slaves of sin, but we were set free. So we want to keep praying for you, man. Appreciate you. So, thanks for uh, thanks for your, all your help today. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Or something. The grass is actually getting green. I know, right? It's getting there. Little bit, little by little, right? Thank you all. All right. Well, have a good one, man. God bless you. So that was good timing. It's actually um, the story behind Mr. Kool Aid. There was um, a couple weeks ago. I was putting up this cross behind me. And he um, asked me questions about why we're here. And um, we told him that we were here in Jesus' name. And, uh, and he let us know that he was a Muslim. And he said, there's something about you guys, the Christians that come down here and show love to us. And, and so I uh, had an opportunity to share a little bit about Jesus uh, to him. And so uh, we want to keep um, planting seeds in the hearts of of everyone down here, especially Kool-Aid, um, as we know that Muhammad's not the way, Allah's not the way, only Jesus Christ is the way, so we want to keep uh, keep sharing the gospel. So here in North Avenue, we're right off of Bella Road and North Avenue, 2300 block. Um, this is the Haven of Hope Community Garden, but we're turning it into not only a community garden, but we're also looking at making it into a, um, a place where we're going to do Bible studies and also we're going to be putting up possibly, um, if all goes well, to put a building back here, just like a simple building, like a, like a, one of those prefabricated um, steel buildings, and um, possibly we'll start a kind of home church down here. And um, as we know that there's a big need for churches in this area, especially that are preaching sound gospel, uh, not prosperity gospel, not um, the, uh, some of this gospel that they're getting fed down here, but the truth and uh, expository preaching and uh, and the great thing about home church is you're able to edify one another, uh, break bread together, and, and really disciple people. So that's our hope. So as you can see, we need volunteers. We need people down here to evangelize. We need people to help. As you are not a theory. You're not an apologetic debate topic merely. You're a person who deserves to be adored. Our goal in life should simply be to see you more, to have our soul satisfied and be so amazed, to stand in awe when you teach us to know your ways, to bring glory to your holy name forevermore. We were made for so much more than what we settled for. We're too easily satisfied with lesser things. The distractions that keep us from our blessed king. Theology is not a goal, but its major purpose is to think about you rightly when we praise and worship. Yeah. Lord, I want to worship you just because of who you are. With all my heart, with all my soul. When I think about you, Lord, I just want to worship you. With all my mind, with all my mind, with all my mind.
silly to speak your name But that's exactly the reason that Jesus came On the cross took the wrath and received the blame For believers so we don't have to be ashamed We can come into your courts and not be destroyed No need to avoid the source of our peace and joy The beef is void cause Christ paid the penalty We've been reconciled, you saved your enemies All because you're abundantly merciful That's good news to the hungry and thirsty soul you made yourself known through the written word. The Holy Spirit gives life when the scriptures heard and believe. True faith is supernatural, but we can love you with our minds. You are rational. You gave us reason. Surely a major purpose was to think about you rightly when we praise and worship. Yeah. Lord, I want to worship you just because of who you are. With all my heart, with all my Lord, you commanded us to love you with all our minds, heart and soul. We fail to do it all the time. And we should be appalled by a deep neglect when we don't take the time out to read the text. And when we do read, we act like we have the right to only focus on the things about you that we like. Lord, you never gave us permission to pick and choose because you are who you are. Forget different views. Lord, forgive us. We love what you don't promote. We need your mercy. The cross is our only hope. Yes. Because I know that I am not what I should truly be. But by your grace, I am not what I used to be. Thank I want to know you better, Lord. Take higher steps. Yeah. So I can rep Jesus Christ to my final breath. You gave us minds. Surely a major purpose was to think about you rightly when we praise and worship. Yeah. Lord, I want to worship you just because of who you are. With all my heart. And forever we will cling to the crucified and risen king who fulfilled the plan you devised. Theology helps us separate truth from lies, but you are not an object to be scrutinized. You're not a philosophy, you are not a theory. You're not an apologetic debate topic merely. You're a person who deserves to be adored. Our goal in life should simply be to see you more, to have our soul satisfied and be so amazed, to stand in awe when you teach us to know your ways, to bring glory to your holy name forevermore. We were made for so much more than what we settled for. We're too easily satisfied with lesser things. They're distractions that keep us from our blessed King. Theology is not a goal, but its major purpose is to think about you rightly when we praise and worship. Yeah. Lord, I want to worship you just because of who you are. With all my heart, with all my soul. When I think about you, Lord, I just want to worship you. With all my mind, with all my mind, with all my mind.